Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Sir, what do you think about Iran and the threat? I don't, as I told you, I just don't know anything to say about it. It's too ambiguous. It could be this or that. I don't know. It's all just stuff that you read in the new newspapers. Do you think that they really are posing a threat towards Israel or not? Yeah, they could pose a threat. And what do you think about uh, Hassan Nasrallah in Lebanon with the rocket that he's facing towards Israel? It's all threat, but it's... Everyone are just playing a part, it's just a game. You and I are just pawns, that's all. Do you really want peace uh, in, in, in your life and in Israel? Yeah, of course, that's what I want. Aren't you afraid if rockets were to land in Jerusalem or throughout the country that uh, they would try to wipe us out as Jews? A million people dead are a million people dead. If they're Syrians or Jewish or Lebanonese, it's, all, it's the same million, uh, to my eyes. I think that uh, just people who want to take advantage, get money out of it, get a lot of politics about, uh, about it. And some of them are Jews, some of them are Arabs, some of them are Persian, some of them are Americans. Uh, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I have nothing to do about it. Now, uh, Assad has chemical weapons and he has put them throughout the country. Mm -hmm. Uh, should we fear these chemical weapons that they will wind up in the hands of Nasrallah? Of course, what do you mean? Of course we should be afraid. There's a problem. Every time we're manufacturing more weapons and eventually they go to the wrong hands. That's what happens with weapons. That's what you do. You make, you make Uzi, Israel makes Uzi, and a lot of terrorists has Uzi. Russia makes Kalachnikovs and all of Africa has Kalachnikov and Uzis. That's what weapons do, they kill people. Now, do you think that the Israeli government should do something to stop uh, Iran, Lebanon, uh, possibly Syria, and maybe Egypt? I'm just, I'm just a, you know, a small piece in the great puzzle. Fortunately for me, I don't need to take those, uh, those um, I don't know, decisions. It's them to take, them to make. I have nothing to do about it. I can, I can choose to attack or not to attack, it's out of my hands. But you truly, as the Jew that you are, you want peace, right? Of course. And you want people to live in peace? Yeah. This is Uriel, LTP, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Shalom.